These are the extrusions for the bed frame for the new big printer. I've already cut them to length and made holes for the threaded rod, the motor bracket and a lot more holes for other components because I don't want to be making holes in this thing when it's on the printer. So let's get all of this together. This is the motor that we are going to be using to move the bed up and down. It's a NEMA 23 motor with a 47 to 1 gear ratio for a total of 60 newton meters, which is a lot. But this motor has a 12 millimeter shaft and I haven't been able to find pulleys for it anywhere. The closest I could find was shipping four months from now. Like they have to go to the mine and I don't give up easily. So I tried to find another excuse to get a lathe. But you know me and I'm not the kind of person that gets defeated by a setback like this. So I decided to print a set of pulleys in resin, at least until I can find proper ones. So all we need now are some brackets. The next step is to install some brackets for the belts, but first I need to solve this is in here. This is going nowhere. I might do something with this side later. We'll see. The bed brackets. I was doing a dry fit of the frame on the machine and I saw what you are seeing now. It doesn't fit. It doesn't fit. What? And it took a while to figure it out because I was missing 30 millimeters on one end and having 30 millimeters extra on the other end. 
And the thing is that the difference between the two sides is not 30 millimeters, it's way more than that. But then I remember that this extrusion in here goes up to here, but this one in here goes all the way to the end. So the length of this extrusion is in fact 1,240 millimeters. Being this one 1,210 millimeters, the difference between this and this is exactly 30 millimeters. So the only thing that I need to do is swap this for this. And for that, I just need to remove this out, out, out. Ah! That's going to take a bit of time, so while my other me does an almost complete rebuild of the printer, a quick ad from longtime sponsor of this channel, NordVPN. I'm a longtime user of NordVPN myself, and that's not only because it is safer as all your data is encrypted, or just because with just one account you can connect up to six devices. It is also because when I want to watch a show that is only available in another country, with NordVPN I can connect to a server in that same country and watch it freely. Of course, I always check the terms and services of my streaming provider before doing so. And now there is an extra reason to use NordVPN, its new threat protection that protects you from malicious websites, downloads and trackers, and it is always in the lookout even when you are not connected to a VPN. Get NordVPN at nordvpn.com slash Miranda for a two-year plan plus four months free. It's risk-free with NordVPN's 30-day money-back warranty, and at the same time you will help this channel. And now let's see if I've finished. And after that minor setback, we are more or less where we were three days ago. I, I added the bracing at the back, that's done. And obviously now the bed frame fits. So now it's time to prepare for some wiring so we can finally add the motors. This is heavy. This is already 15 kilos. 15 kilos. There you go. And inside this box is the brain of the machine. Tony from Duet3D sent me the Duet3 main board with 6 channels up to 6.3 amps per channel for those beefy motors in there. It can connect to my network through Ethernet, it's extremely configurable, it has plenty of inputs and outputs for everything that I want to do in this machine. Truly recommend it, so if you want to build your own printer, go and get one. And now let's get it on the printer.
the duet three main board is on the machine. The four motors are now connected, and now I need to make sure that the four motors spin on the right direction. And at the same time, because if not, they will twist the bed and break everything. So let's go step by step. And we have one motor moving. And it is moving in the right direction. Now we have four motors moving, but they are moving in the wrong direction, two of them, so let's fix that. And now that the four motors spin in the same direction, I will fasten the bed frame to the bearing blocks and then see if I can install some belts. Let's see if I thought this through. All the belts are in place, so let's play a game of moves or breaks. Well, it didn't break, so I will try to make it flat or le roughly level, not level. I will just make the four corners at the same distance, more or less, of the top. The bed frame is complete, it moves up and down, but I, I, I see your worries. You are worried that the system is not going to be strong or powerful enough to lift the weight of those huge pre- And now please go and make something! Ah!